here with Aidan McGarry, General Manager of Nace Racecourse. Aidan, you're new to the role, but how is it going so far? Yeah, Matt, first of all, welcome to Nace Racecourse on a gorgeous sunny day. Uh, yeah, so far so good. I'm here just over three months now at this stage, so having previously been in Navin Racecourse and look, uh, I was excited to join the team here. Uh, I think Nace is kind of one of the more uh, respected racetracks in the country. It has a great reputation and look, really excited to join uh, what's a super team here in the office and on the track itself. And even before you mentioned that, and before that you were at HRI and ITM, I think you kind of bring all that experience in here as well. Do you find that valuable in the, in the general manager role? Yeah, look, I was very fortunate with my time in horse race in Ireland. Uh, I did lots of very different roles from whether it was the customer support roles with trainers and owners, uh, spent a bit of time in Irish thoroughbred marketing as well. Uh, and then moving on to Navin Racecourse was, was a, is a big step, uh, but a really enjoyable one. Loads of experience uh, from my three years there. And like anything else, you do all those different roles. You you glean different aspects of the role and you can apply it to uh, where you are now. And absolutely, look, there's loads I'm trying to bring to Nice Racecourse, but there's loads that's already here that's so good it's a case of if it's not broken don't try and fix it big plans for the future so and just for people who might not know what would be your kind of day-to-day -day operations be like here at the race course yeah so race course manager and that's one of the beauties of it there's no one type of day today um everything varies there's so much variety particularly here at nace race course we have 20 fixtures a year uh 12 flat and eight over the jumps uh so kept busy throughout the whole year with at least one meeting a month so it's it's pretty hectic, it doesn't stop. Um, but it's outside those particular days, we have lots of non-race day activities here as well on the racetrack. So we taste a Kildare here a few weeks ago. They were here for the weekend and we had thousands of people here on the track uh, at a bit of a food festival. So there's, lot, there's always different things happening at the racetrack. And look, um, one of the things I really enjoy about working here and working in racing is the different people. So whether you're working with guys and girls who are passionate about the sport or you're here with you're working with customers that are here from a hospitality perspective or here just for a, a fun day out. Um, there's just lots of different aspects to it. And like I said, we have a small team here, but everyone works really closely together and um, takes huge pride in what we kind of produce here. And you kind of mentioned the flat and the jumps. You're changing over now. I think the jumps open are the 10th of November. Get yeah. excited for that one. Yeah, so the, the fences here, you can see, only went up. Um, they're well in the process of going up, but they're right there just over a week. So we took them out, uh, I think, the Tuesday after we raced on the Sunday. Uh, yeah, the year's flying by. And look, uh, whether it's the flat here, we love our flat racing here at Nace Racecourse. Uh, but equally, once you kick uh, in a gear with the jumps now in November and through to December, and then our feature day, uh, the Lollers, uh, grade one hurdle day on in ja early January. Um, look, there's a great buzz around the jump, so there's, there's no denying that. And yeah, really looking forward to getting uh, going on that aspect. And you see some real top class horses coming here for the Lawlers, but even you have a fixture early in February and it's always a nice place to maybe find a Cheltenham horse yeah. popping up there as well. Yeah, 100%. Nace has uh, always called itself a nursery of champions and we see that on the flat or over jumps. Like we'll have young horses on the flat racing throughout the year and progressing. We had Fairy Godmother racing here during the summer and progressing uh, on to Royal Ascot success. Uh, and over jumps, like Grange Clare West and any number of top class horses making their debut use well over hurdles or offences uh, and look yeah it's that time of year when everyone's looking at their 10 to follow list or their 20 to follow list and you're kind of remembering names that you forgot about in years in from the previous year but yeah exciting to see it getting going again and it was kind of a theme during the flat season for the stakes races in particular i suppose a lot of uk challengers coming over at uh, william haggis and david o'mara both came over here for a few of the sprint races I, would you maybe be trying to target some of the jumps trainers to get them over for the likes of the Lawler's Hurdle? Is it something you kind of work on beforehand? Yeah, absolutely. Like certainly on the flat. And it, to be honest, it probably is that bit easier to do on the flat. Um, but absolutely, whether it's flat or jumps, we love our UK competition. We love any competition. Uh, and yeah, we have great representation from the UK during the summer. Again, the guys, we, we try and make things as straightforward for the UK connections as possible, organising taxis and collections from the airport, organizing accommodation, stable staff, make everything as easy as possible. Uh, and I think they enjoy it when they come here. And look, like you said, during the summer, we had great representation from the UK and great success as well. So they kind of came away with plenty of stakes races and plenty of euros. So uh, yeah, look, we'd love to have that. We'd love to see that type of uh, competition over jumps. I suppose in general in Ireland, we probably haven't seen that much UK representation in a lot of our key jumps fixtures, but absolutely the prize money is great and uh, we'd love to welcome them over.
yeah, it'd be nice to see a few challenges coming over for that Lauders hurdle in particular, I suppose. But kind of looking towards the future, you were kind of saying you oversaw the first ever Navin Racing Festival. Any big plans like that in store for Nice? Yeah, look, like I said, only three or four months in the role here. So just getting the feet under the table. Nice have a lovely programme here, whether it's, uh, like I said, on the flat and jumps. And it's a case of getting the feet under the table and seeing how the next 12 months or so goes. Um, but absolutely, look, we already have our upgrades next year. So like I said, grade one Lawler's Hurdle Day, we have our grade one, but we have a new grade two on the card as well for novice traces. Uh, so that's exciting, you know, those type of, hopefully we'll see our Arkle type horses, uh, our, again, our Cheltenham type horses and those type of races. But look, you're always trying to improve, whether it's on the flat or through the jumps, uh, looking at options to see what you can, um, what you can do better, what program changes, what festival changes you can bring in. Um, the calendar is so condensed and busy. Um, you know, it, it kind of, the Navin Racing Festival, which went great last year, and I'm sure will be a huge success now uh, in a few weeks time, uh, that worked out nicely, just how the cards fell for us on that occasion. So look, absolutely, anything that we can kind of do to progress and build, make our bigger days bigger, uh, we work with Horse Racing Ireland and the board here as well to, to drive those changes. And just one thing we haven't touched on, you're a local of Nice, um, obviously a big racing town. How do, how do they get behind the racetrack here? I'd say build a bit of a buzz here when there's big horses running in particular. Yeah, like Nice Racecourse is very fortunate in terms of our location. We're literally, you can walk into the town, the central town in 10 minutes from here, and there's not too many racecourses around the country that kind of have that aspect of it. And there's huge buy-in from the locals. Like I think anyone who saw the nationwide program recently on RTE would have seen the amount of local casual staff that work here and have been working here not just for a couple of years but for 20 30 40 years type of thing there's there's huge buy-in and that that comes from the top down we have a we have a board here at nace race course uh, that are all local uh, local people they haven't taken a dividend or any payment for any number of years everything goes back into the track and i think people around the town kind of see that that the investment that has gone into the town we're really proud of Nace Race Course. I grew up here, like I said, I'm from Nace originally. I've seen the changes from the outside that has happened here in Nace in the last 10, 15, 20 years. Uh, and I think a lot of people see that. And, you know, there's a real sense of pride amongst the board, from the team and from the locals as well. And, you know, we're celebrating 100 years here racing at Nace this year. Uh, and look, looking forward to the next, I won't say, well, I won't be here for the next 100 years, but uh, look, we're kind of always looking to the future and kind of building on that and keeping the people involved because people are everything type of thing to make a success of it. Uh, and yeah, so like, it's great to have the support of the locals, the businesses, uh, and long may it last. Just one last question for you, obviously a local of Nice. What's your favourite memory of coming here racing maybe before you were general manager even? Yeah, like I remember I would have come to Nace and Punchdown Racecourse as a kid uh, for forever. And the grandstand or the stand we're standing on now, the Circle Lounge, there used to be um, an old yellow uh, stand here and there was old tote facilities there. So like when you see the changes here, it's unbelievable. Going back a long time now, I always, and we, we recognize the mayor here, but I remember Opera Hat winning those two mile races here year after year after year. And she was a super mayor. And like we see the great mayors that are chasing now. And if anything, she was one of the first, you know, uh, or she was, certainly was one of the first uh, that I can remember. Uh, so yeah, so mayors like that and uh, horses like that. And, you know, that kind of resonate and people remember those days. It's a due to national hunt racing, I suppose. Aidan, thanks very much. I won't keep you any longer. Thanks very much for your time and best of luck in the years to come in your new role. Super. Thanks, Emma.